Hello everyone. I hope that all of you are fine. After you have collected your data, now you have to prepare your precise statement of financial position and precise statement of profit and loss. Okay. Because the worksheet where you have collected your data was protected, so what you have to do is you have to copy the statement of financial position and and the statement of profit or loss in a new worksheet which will be uh, which will be unprotected when you copy and then make a precise version of the statements so i'm going to demonstrate how to do that at first create a new worksheet okay uh, and then go back to the statement of financial position now copy the whole worksheet then go to worksheet 1 the new one select the whole worksheet and now i'm going to paste special okay from where i just you know click paste value and source formatting okay so now you have all the values and uh, source formatting for example here there was a formula but we don't have the formula anymore now what to do before preparing the precise statement of financial position i will ask you to you know delete the unnecessary columns okay which are hidden in the protected sheet so now at first select the whole worksheet then right click then click on hide you can see there are so many columns which are hidden okay because we do not need them we just delete them first okay now now in the precise uh, statement of financial position we will have only the major items like total non-current asset uh, total current asset total asset and all this thing okay so please delete these rows as well Now the unnecessary uh, rows have been deleted okay now what we need to do is we need to uh, format it a bit uh, better way so that uh, we can visualize the things okay uh, some other things like uh, column C uh, we do not really need but still if we delete column C you know there the gap between these items and these items will not be there okay so what I prefer to do is select these range of cells and click delete cells and make sure that the remaining cells shift to the left you know, and 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 occupy this area okay so make sure that it is a selected shift cells left because we want the right cells to shift left okay now click ok so you see all has shifted to left now we will do some uh, you know some kind of reformatting and rearrangement to make the balance sheet or statement of financial position uh, looking better so for example we just delete these two assets delete this to equities delete then we bring all the item lists item headings in the same column in the same column
and also we can uh, delete this range of cells well i prefer to keep the total items you know aligned right to distinguish them from the others and also you know it is useful to insert a blank uh, row between the two major components of or or the major major components of the statement of financial position so that they are identifiable visually identifiable okay so uh, i'm going to give different i'm going to use uh, different colors for the items so that those are visually identifiable again especially the amounts i'll give a no, dark red color and bold because this is total asset and again total equity let me make it blue okay these are just a matter of choice don't worry about what you choose if it is different from me different from my choice total liabilities okay and the total item I prefer to make everything consistent uh, so because total equity and liabilities has one row gap you now let me do the same before uh, total asset okay now uh, I also prefer to remove the borders that we have used during data collection so at first let me make it no border okay now Um, no, I will use bottom border. Okay, if I use the bottom border, I think that will look fine. This one double line. bottom border again another bottom border so why I'm spending so much time for formatting the things actually when you format the things well you know it look better one thing uh, that is one thing and also uh, it the financial statements uh, become attractive you know okay one thing I do not like here is the grid lines uh, that are being shown uh, so I prefer to you know go to the view tab and then clear the checkbox uh, of grid line okay now it looks without any grid line okay um, uh, I think the precise statement of financial position is ready uh, but uh, do not forget to rename it okay we can give a short name like p s f p uh, well uh, i think it will look better if i remove this one so there is nothing wrong if you you know go for trial and error uh, to look it even better and also, I think 
this one looks better if I you know insert a range of cells here and ship them right okay uh, well now now I think the whole statement of financial position looks better when you open the Excel worksheet okay and uh, you can see we don't have any formula uh, in here so what you have to do is uh, you have to uh, make sure that you use simple uh, formulas like plus and minus when you get the total items okay so here total asset will be equals to total non-current asset plus total current asset okay and try to check that uh, that you have your um, formula result correct you know with what you with uh, what you have recorded in the data collection worksheet and here also equals the common equity plus preferred equity and again this one should be equals to total current liabilities plus non-current liabilities and the total equities plus liabilities should be equals to total equity plus totals total liabilities okay now you can drag this you can drag this one to the right and all the formulas will be copied well so amounts remain the same but we make sure that uh, the formula is used when you calculate the totals so that is the end of uh, preparing the precise statement of financial position and we are going to uh, do our planning and forecasting on this precise version of the statement of financial positions thank you very much